Like, it's so green, this shirt. Oh, God. <laughs> it's so green. Shut up and go. No, it's just like, it's, it's, um, it's like lime green. Hey, you know what's funny? It's a green shirt. <laughs> it, this is a Kelly green, yet it looks like a lime green. You know what it looks like? What? A green shirt. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks so green. Welcome back to Teresa's Dad. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. And if you're new here, welcome. I have an awful garbage mouth where I tend to use fuck <gasps> as a comma. If you're not into that or weird shit in general, bitch, this is not the place for you. Feel free to accept the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. I don't even know where to start. I'm just overwhelmed at this point because here's the deal. I was doing mail time fairly regularly. Regularly. Hey, English, how's it going? <laughs> I was doing mail time frequently. <laughs> Fuck you. And everything was going good, right? I was happy, whatever. When we started to move, I started collecting some of the packages. Things got completely shifted throughout the move. And then periodically when we would go to the P.O. box, I just kind of just kept mounting this stuff in one spot. And then I started moving shit around and everything is kind of mixed in together. And I feel so fucking awful because you guys that sent me something, like I want to be able to properly say thank you. So if I get anything wrong, which I feel like I am, and if you did send me something, just let me know down below so I could properly thank you because I feel fucking awful right now because literally I wish you could see this I'm, I'm surrounded by boxes of stuff it's taking me forever to do this video because my anxiety is through the fucking roof right now and my shirt is so green it's a green shirt it jesus <laughs> that's my husband alex here's the thing so this shirt which by the way merch how cute is that right oh my god except the greens are too green apparently no here's the deal this is a this is literally like um a, a kelly green but i'm looking into the monitor it looks like i'm a lime green dream if you are interested in getting a green shirt it's not as vibrant as this i don't want it to be like i would not buy that shirt it's radioactive like that's how i feel when i'm looking at this maybe they like that song it's radioactive a radioactive song a terrible song what terrible song not an awful band there's so many. What, what are you talking about? It's that one band. They were everywhere. Radioactive. Yeah, radio yeah. And they're terrible. <laughs> oh, Imagine Dragons. That's it. Yeah, Imagine yeah, yeah. Imagine Dragons. Yeah, fuck them. Um, unless you really like them. I'm not sorry. <laughs> The first thing I want to show you guys, because uh, there was no note for this, and I love these fucking things. Someone sent me two little pins, and it says alien and slut. They're fucking, they're so cute. I can't even, I love this. I don't know who you are. There was no note. Literally it was like a customs package. I don't know if it was like from China or Japan. I have no idea, but this is fucking great. Thank you. <laughs> Please let me know who it is. I think I put it on Instagram and nobody copped up to it. So unless you want to be anonymous, that's fine. But really thank you. These are fucking really cool. And I'm going to wear them all the time. Actually, I've gotten already requests to wear them at work. Don't keep any of that in. You fucker. All right, so these are in no particular order. This is gonna cut to you going back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so these are in no particular order. So the first thing is this book, and it's from Del Shepard. Del is a lovely subscriber of mine, and she wrote a fucking book, and she wanted to send this to me, and it's so fucking cool. I'm so excited. I can't wait to fucking read it. The only thing I will say, though, I was hoping that you would sign it, Del, and you didn't. You didn't sign it. You didn't sign it. Ugh. Now we're gonna have to forge your signature in Print it. Print Mitty is dead. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> we support artists. I, su I support artists of all shapes and sizes. What? <laughs> I don't know. Del, Del sent me her book and she noted that I really like horror books, but she actually wrote this wonderful murder mystery. Thank you, Del, so much. I'm really excited to read this and I'll let you know what I think about it. And next time, if you do send me a book, fucking write in it. and. Sign it. Sign it in blood. Sign it in blood so I could put it on my bookshelf. And I am not going to be giving this away. And your note you mentioned I should, if I didn't like it, I could give it away to somebody for their birthday gift. But no, bitch, this is going to live on my bookshelf for years to come. So the next thing I believe is from Ashley. She needle pointed this for me. Look at it. It says cunt. <laughs> my favorite word ever. Look how cute that is. I need to go get a frame for this and I want to put it in my background, but I might get demonetized So maybe I'll put this like in the living room. It's just a word. 
I know, but you know how fucking people are. Anyway, this is my favorite word of all time. I know people get squeamish around it, but I think it's hilarious. And obviously, I fucking, I should live in England because you guys say it all the time. And I think Australians too. So, you guys are obviously way better than Americans. Anyway, I fucking love this. I think this is so cute and so girly and fun. I just gotta find a nice frame for it and uh, yeah, I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, cunt. Next person I wanna say a very, 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 very special thank you is to my girl, Happy Meanie. Happy Meanie uh, has been with us for a while and she's not only active in our Discord, but she's actually active in Alex's Twitch streams and we've gotten to know her and she's pretty fucking awesome and she spoils, she literally spoils us rotten, yeah. I would say. Happy Meanie could be our mom. Yeah, if you want to adopt us. Thanks for the G Fuel, Mom. Yeah, literally, she sent us a package today. Actually, funny story. So today, I actually had to close down my P.O. box, and it was a new person in the post office that I'm not familiar with. And uh, I was like, oh, hey, I'm here to close my P.O. box. I give her back her my keys and stuff. And I'm like, oh, I, I think I have some packages waiting for me. So the girl goes, and she gets it, and she's, like, looking at it, and she's like, the fuck is this? And I was like, oh, it's, it's okay. Like, I have a YouTube channel. And she's like... Who is Alex's board? I said, oh, that's my husband. I'm Teresa's dad and Alex's board's my husband. And she was like, <laughs> she made the weirdest face. I was like, oh fuck. Like I forgot now getting a new PO box. I'm gonna have to like form a relationship with people. Great. Uh, she didn't really ask too many questions about the channel. So she wasn't interested that much. Happy Meanie actually sent Alex a whole package of G Fuel. So Question, questionable powders? What is yeah. it? What is it? It's an energy drink, right? Yeah. Okay. Sugar-free caffeine in a pouch. We love pouches on this channel. Who doesn't? Anyway, so Happy Meanie actually has sent me a couple of things uh, in the course of a couple months. First one being, bitch sent me shit from Tom Ford, which signed me the fuck up. She gave me this beautiful aqua metal shadow, as well as this adorable quad, which I believe I showed in my overall makeup collection because some of the stuff actually has been living in my collection that you guys have sent me. And this is the quad, which is, you can't even see it, but it's really, really, really fucking cute. It's definitely perfect for the holidays. I love it. It's, it's actually really awesome. And I feel so incredibly fucking bougie when playing around with this stuff. So thanks, Meanie. I love it. She also sent some of these duochrome makers from Impulse Cosmetics, which I played around for a little bit. They're definitely interesting. And I want to keep playing with them because I love looking like a bog witch queen. So yay. And last but not least, she was in the airport and she saw this really cool fucking sloth towel. Which, by the way, you guys keep sending me sloth stuff and I love it. And... Thank you. I have like 75 blankets and now, <laughs> where the fuck is he? Oh, oh, he's big, I see. Okay, look how happy he is. <laughs> that was a production, okay. Anyway, love that. Where is it? <laughs> the other thing that came in the mail besides his G Fuel are these Nightmare on Elm Street <laughs> Freddy Glove Chopsticks, which I am so fucking excited to play with. Oh my god! Oh, they're like the chopsticks for white people. Yeah, you can see they're chopsticks for kids. Oh my god, they're like the chopsticks for children. White children. <laughs> <laughs> These are fucking cute! I want to eat everything with chopsticks. Give me a Cheeto. Lasagna. I feel like these are much harder than actual fucking chopsticks yeah. because it's like it's probably a different technique because it's like together. Yeah, like either way, this is fucking cute. Oh my god, I love it. How much do you think he makes? Oh, this is from Oh Lucre. Oh. Yeah. How much do you think Robert England made on this? No dollars. You think? Yes. I imagine he has like licensing for like. I imagine they rip him off. Hardcore. Is that why he does all those fucking horror conventions and charges a hundred dollars to meet him? I. I mean, yeah. You don't do that when you don't need money. That is true. These are not very functional, actually. <laughs> That's usually how it works. Yeah, cuteness, like, I'm trying to, like, and I'm like, eh. Cuteness versus usefulness. Nailed it. The next thing I have is from Dawn. Dawn lives in Norway, and uh, she actually sent me quite a few different little items. Being that she knows that I'm on the quest for green, she actually hooked me up with some green makeup and some of her favorite candies. Thank you, Dawn. Beautiful green color. I mean, it literally almost fucking matches my shirt. I love it. Actually matches Chubzilla back there, really. Really cool nail polish, which is awesome because this is starting to chip really badly, and I want to look like a mutant. I'm excited. And then this looks like 
Swedish eyeliner pencil. Wow, they're good for two years. Damn. A lovely green color here. John is Swedish, but she lives in Norway right now. So she actually also sent me some of her favorite chocolate, which I kind of want to fucking eat one of these right now. So, oh, salty, car salty caramel. I'm a salty boy. What? Nothing. What do you think this is? Oh, this feels like a Kit Kat. You want to fuck up some Kit Kat? Oh yeah, it's a wafer. That word's in English. I'm to try to read it. All right, let's start. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kajex. Nope. Nope. Over truck it, Med Melis. And a Joe Colati. Joe Colati? Oh, you know Joe? <laughs> you know Joe Colati down the block, you know? I kind of want to try this one because it looks like potato chips are in it. Probably not potato chips. Have salt. I'm going to say that's a potato chip. I'm going to try it. Sorlin's chips. It has to be a potato chip. Kind of reminds me of the world's finest chocolate. Which one's that? My face. World's finest chocolate is that um you know like the kids with that like the white box. Oh, that's shitty. Oh my god. It's always like a dollar to McDonald's from like sucked. a coupon from 27 years ago that's expired. That's good. It's chips in it. It's salt. Yeah. I know. Norwegian. Final answer. So the next thing I wanna show you guys is actually a brush set and it's sent by a subscriber named Manuel. He's such a nice guy. He always leaves me really, really funny comments and he always tells me to see you at church. And he sent me these really awesome brush sets because he has them and he just thought of me because they have skulls on them. And I actually had to like scramble to put them in the box because I've been playing around with them for a little bit and they're really, really fucking nice. In my videos, I don't really list the brushes that I use, but these I would say are like a really, really nice quality. What's really cute about these brushes is that they have teeny tiny skulls on them. They're so fucking adorable. And they actually have really interesting shapes. You would think this is actually would be pretty big for my eye shape, but it's actually a really good fucking all over the lid shader brush. Super perfect. Thank you again. I really appreciate it. I fucking love this stuff. Thank you for thinking of me. They are definitely perfect to fit my goth aesthetic. I don't know why I did that. Like I was a fucking fairy godmother. The next package is from Candace. The bag was open. So if there's anything else in that bag, let me know. <laughs> but uh, if not, it's just this adorable makeup bag. I like my mascara as black as my soul. I fucking love this. Thank you so much. I am so excited to fucking use this because I will be going away shortly. So I am so excited to pack my makeup in this. Thank you. The next package is from Dana. Dana has continually blessed me with makeup. She often sends me really fun indie brands like Notoriously Morbid, which she sent me these fucking multi-chromes that are like Shit my pants good, I fucking love them. Which I know I'm gonna be doing a video on. I keep saying I'm gonna do videos on stuff, and I am. It's just, you know, having a full-time job sucks a lot of dog dick. She actually sent me two early birthday gifts, which I thought was pretty fucking adorable. And they're both two Peachy Queen palettes. One is the Alien Queen, which a bunch of you guys have tagged me in, so now I have the palette. I actually have the fucking Ouija board palette. <laughs> so Shannon, again, I'm really sorry <laughs> for having this in my house. Gonna leave it at her mom's house. We're going to leave the cover at my mom's house and hope for the best, but I'm excited to play with it because, you know, not gonna lie, Ouija board is a very, very pretty color story. Super fucking cute. Can we swatch one of these? Ooh, Conjuring. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, that's a good purple. Fuck. Ooh, 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 let's do yes. What? Oh, you dumb bitch. This is nice. Holy shitigals. Ah, peachy queen bitch. Fuck me up. All right, I'm gonna do a review on both of these palettes. Damn, I'm so fucking excited. Oh my God, yes, bitch. Conjuring up spirits while looking fucking so pretty. I'm excited. Actually, for shits and giggles, let's look at the Alien Queen palette. Oh, me, look how adorable. Literally, our fucking colors are matching over here. Oh, bitch is neon. I did it really stupid, sorry. Wow, great angle. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> You're not here to help me swatch stuff. Yep. You're a bitch. <laughs> yep. That's fucking neon, bitch. Holy shit. My makeup dick is so hard right now. I have these really cool Jaria pins that I've been wanting to bring to work and then I couldn't fucking find them. And then when I was gathering all the mail together, I finally found them. Thank you. Thank you to the person that sent me these really cool fucking neon Jaria pins. Please let me know who you are so I could probably say thank you. And I'm so fucking sorry. The next thing is actually from a subscriber of mine. I actually don't know if she wants to be named. 
So I won't name her because I don't know if she's cool with that. But anyway, she reached out to me over Instagram and she was like, hey, M Cosmetics fucked up my order and it got lost in the mail and now they're sending me another one. She got like three sets of the same M Cosmetics stuff that she ordered and she asked if I would be interested in receiving some of it. And I was like, fuck yeah, bitch. So she bestowed onto me some really cool fucking products and it's all the little blush serums, all four blush serums. So rose milk, pink nectar, sunset sky, and soft amorist. I've been playing with the uh, peachy one the rose milk and oh my god it's fucking really cool i'm planning to do like a little bite-sized review on some of this collection look how cute these little bottles are fucking so precious oh my god fucking michelle fawn man hold on but i'm just gonna put it right there that's a really pretty color sorry all my swatches are like really garbage right now but like that's so gorgeous oh my god I can't stop staring at the fucking neon, sorry. She also sent me a bunch of lip products as well. Infinite Lip Clouds, which is a long wearing lip cream or creme. Also a true gloss. So let me show you. So this is Morning Mocha. Oh, that's pretty. Fuck. My new favorite thing going to work with. Awesome. This is the gloss and this is the lip cream. Honestly, so beautiful. Again, I'm gonna be doing a review on all of these products. So thank you so much for sending me your extras. The next person I want to say thank you to is Ren. Ren, as you guys know, have sent us so much stuff over the past few months. We're, and we're always so thankful of her for sending all these fun snacks and all kinds of cool makeup and shit like that. She sent us a couple of boxes and unfortunately all the snacks are eaten. The other thing is they're all kind of like mixed in some of the stuff. Like I know she sent me a couple of stationary things that kind of have been mixed in with things that I've actually used. So I wanted to pick the things that I haven't really touched yet, but I plan on playing soon. And the first one is the Kate Foundation, which I know she swears by. I just haven't had a chance to wear it yet, but I'm excited to try this. She knows I really love Toy Story, so she sent me this beautiful little alien stationary set. And last but not least, I believe this is cold cream i have no idea what the fuck this is but it's cool <laughs> i gotta say like japan's packaging fucking 10 out of 10 seriously oh my god i fucking love it <laughs> it could have been dog shit in here it doesn't matter this is adorable she also sent me this really cool which is actually on my bookshelf right now this really cool denim alien so it's like the normal like green alien but except it's like in denim it's so fucking cute anyway thank you so much ren i always appreciate you sending me stuff we adore you thank you melody sent me quite a few items a while back before we moved. This I like to describe as witchy shit. <laughs> It's really fucking cool. It's all bath bombs. It's all like little soaps and bath bombs and it's so adorable. And what I love about it is one, smells really fucking good. But the most important thing though is that where we used to live, it was a crack den. <laughs> it was an awful house that was falling apart. Now that we live in this beautiful apartment, now I feel like I can get fancy soaps and bath bombs and all kinds of cool shit because I couldn't do that where I used to live. No, no sorry. So I'm very excited to finally get to fucking play with these things. It smells really fucking good. And it's actually very fragrant and for the fact that I can smell it, it means it's very, very fragrant. Thank you so much. My favorite things, other than this little witchy toolbox that she sent me, it's a Chucky highlighter. I can't even use it. Like, because look at him. Look how precious he is. I just like swatched his face and I feel bad. Oh, bitch. Oh my God. I have to use you Chucky shit. I'm sorry, buddy. This is fucking cool. What? Got this little Chucky highlighter. And of course, one of my most favorite things that she sent me is a dick lipstick in whore red. Thanks, Melody. Actually, let me swatch that. Swatch that dick? Swatch it. That's whore red. Holy shit. You know what I love about this dick? It's very veiny. Fun. Can't get more fun than a veiny dick. <laughs> really can't. The next person I want to say thank you to is Diana. Diana sent me this Fifty Shades of Bullshit coloring book that I love and adore. My personal favorite, Cuntzilla. It's so funny because in the old apartment that we used to be in, I used to actually color a lot because it was uh, something. Oh, cocksucker. Oh, huh. isn't that sweet? <laughs> It was definitely a stress reliever. I need to start coloring again and put it on the fridge. I'm gonna cocksucker on my fridge. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? So thank you, Diana. I appreciate it. So the next thing I got actually is this really cool postcard from Tanya. So fucking sweet. It's all the way from Australia. I love it. I love when you guys send me postcards. I try to keep everything together, which unfortunately is poor right now because everything's all over the place. But I like when you guys send letters or postcards because I'm trying to like put everything in a book. I love it. Thank you. I appreciate it. And again, I always want to reiterate, if you ever feel the need to send something and you don't want to actually physically send something, but you want to send a postcard, I fucking love that. Feel free to send those. 
I love this. The next thing is actually really, really fucking cool. And it's from an artist named Pamela Ainsworth. And she sent me this cool ass fucking print that has unfortunately been living in the sleeve because I need to get a fucking frame for it. But look how gorgeous this is. Pamela is an oil painter and she paints badass fucking shit. It's so gorgeous. I wish I could fucking do that paint. That's the one thing I always like wish I could do is paint. Yeah, it's always terrible at drawing myself. Yeah, I suck at it. I love this. I need to get a frame and we could put it up in our house. Thank you, Pamela. Pamela also sent me some of her cards that shows her other pieces of art. Definitely feeds the goth girl that lives inside me. I love it. The next thing I have is actually another coloring book. This might all be from the same person, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not too sure because it doesn't have a name on the gift receipt, but I have another coloring book. A go fuck yourself. I'm coloring book. So adorable. <laughs> Oh, dumb bitch. I actually, it's funny because I think in the gift receipt, what did it say? It said, figured after you're done coloring, you could frame the pics and give them as Christmas gifts. I plan on doing that a lot and giving it to all the people I fucking work with, especially not to Bob. Seriously, bitch. Anytime he asks me something fucking stupid, which is every day. Eat a goddamn bag of dicks. Oh, it's adorable. Eat my ass like a cupcake. I can give that to Michael. When he's talking to his boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Adorable. Thank you so much. The next person I want to thank is Mika Pose. She sent me the Take Me to Brazil palette along with some other really cool fucking goodies. A glasses case that I actually am using right now, so that's why I don't have it in front of me. And a couple other small items that I adore, like this little red little change purse that again I leave my bag to put loose change in. It's been great. Thank you, Mika Pose. But I'm excited to try this palette out because a lot of you guys have recommended it to me and I don't have a lot of experience with BH shadows. I've only had one palette and it hasn't really been good and I've been told that it's the worst palette to have. So I'm excited to try this and I plan on doing a retro review for it so expect that sometime in the future so thank you Mikapo. i appreciate it so i believe the next two items are from dawn and if it's not dawn i'm really sorry first she sent me this really adorable owl statue which is really funny because i actually have a very similar statue on my desk and the reason why he's still here is because i've been meaning to do this video and then i was going to bring him to the other owl friends so they can live peacefully on my desk and he is so fucking cute i love him and the other cool fucking thing i got is warning i use fuck as a comma which I know that should actually be my fucking merch. <laughs> so expect the Teresa is dead version of that in the future. But I fucking love this. Because seriously, fuck as a comma is my bread and butter. So thank you so much. My last box is from Rhonda. Rhonda sent me some cool fucking treats. But first it's this adorable great white shark that I love. Besides sloths, I really love great white sharks. Because my favorite movie is Jaws. So anytime I get a little shark, I get very, very excited. I'm literally a four-year-old boy. But I love him. Rhonda also hooked me up with some sweet Maui onions and wavy potato chips, which I've never, actually never even heard of this brand before, but I believe she said that this brand's local to Louisville, Kentucky. So I've never been to Louisville, so I'm excited to eat some of their snacks. So I got sweet Maui onion, barbecue, adorable Reese's pumpkins, which is actually very fitting because now we're in motherfucking Halloween season, bitch. Ah! <laughs> Lucky and Kentucky cookies. They're fun. They're fun. <laughs> they are, they're like cute packaging, it's different. A shitload of airheads, a crunchy bar, a Cadbury crunchy bar, because everywhere else has better candy than America. And she also sent me some vintage 1950s gumball charms. What? <laughs> I'm not even joking. Vintage 1950s gumball charms, which I'm gonna put on my desk. Charms. Yeah, what I is heard, I heard gumball. No, no, gumball. Like, what the fuck? No, 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 gumball Siri. Oh, cherry. She sent me some really cool stuff. Thank you, Rhonda. You're Inside a fucking. What kind of a box? And a Bath and Body Works block. Yes, blocks. Uh, bath and Bloody Works blocks. And Bath and Bloody Works blocks. I love Bath and Bloody Works. Can I tell you something? I actually haven't really unpacked fully while living in this new place. Yeah, I know. I'm a horrible piece of shit. And some of the stuff that you guys have sent, some of the stuff is currently living in a few boxes before I can kind of really figure out where I can put some of this shit. So I know that it's actually currently in this box and I'm really sorry that I, I didn't get to, to show it. So I wanna say a special thank you to Jessica. She actually sent me this really cool Halloween tapestry scarf. Really, really adorable, very thin. Actually, it's kind of perfect for like an autumn scarf. I really like it, so thank you so much. And it's actually kind of perfect because I need to dig it out of the fucking, all of our um, boxes anyway, because now the weather's gonna be fucking 60 now as opposed to fucking 85 it has been, so. 
Thank you, Jessica. I want to say a special thank you to Natalie. Natalie sent me an e-gift card to Sephora. And I remember in her note, she said, hey, in the event that Benefit doesn't release Cookie as a single, go buy yourself a backup of. And I was like, oh, it's so fucking sweet. And now look at it, fucking Cookie as a single. How adorable is that? Thank you so much, Natalie. I appreciate it. I want to say thank you to an anonymous person. She gave me an Ulta gift card, an adorable sloth that's living on my bookshelf, and the 90s Carity palette. So thank you so much. And last but not least, I want to say a special thank you to Lee. Lee sent me this bag ass motherfucking blanket that is like super vintage Halloween and it's been living on my couch ever since we were actually in the old apartment and when people came over they tried to steal it and I would tell them get the fuck off this this is mine you go find your own goddamn Lee. So thank you so much. Hi, sorry, um, I know I have a completely different outfit on. I'm filming another video, but I realized after I filmed this and after I took off my makeup, I forgot one box and I'm really sorry about that. But I wanna share with you something else. It's actually from Kathy and she goes by Biscuit and she sent me a lot of really cool fucking things. The first one being this awesome sloth blanket. I love it, so goddamn fucking soft. Kathy also lives in North Carolina and she also sent me these really fucking cool cards, like these fun little Halloween cards. Like, how cute is that? Seriously, like, that is obviously me in the subway. Me when I just eat food. I feel like Shane Dawson. Mm -hmm. She actually made a ribbon with my name on it and, like, a lot of kind words, which is very, very sweet. And she also sent me a shitload of fucking makeup, which I'm super and really cute, actually, makeup bags. Like, the Slimingo is adorable. But I'm actually really, really excited to try this Grease eyeshadow palette because I've heard a lot of mixed things about it, and it's fucking cute. When I was a kid, I had a, a childhood friend that would make me watch this movie every fucking time I'd hang out with her. Every goddamn time. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> never seen it. You've never seen Grease? Nope. Yeah, it's kind of why. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're not really missing too much, I'm, I don't I'm think. Also not which I'm pretty sure people will just fucking cancel me from that. But this I'm is not, fucking adorable, though. I'm also not a musical boy, so. I'm honestly not a musical girl either. Like, the, I mean, you still like it, obviously. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I'm not, I'm not really big into musicals and stuff like that. And I think that's what people. Or I've actually never seen a Broadway play, and people are like, what? "You live in New York," and I'm like, "Yeah, I really just don't give a fuck. I don't there, care." You go there to work, and then yeah, exactly. Back. I go home. I go to work. By the way, I'm like fucking pineapple. I love it so much. And this is so really so fucking cute. Like it's like Polly Pocket, but it's from Line Crime. So that means it's not terrible like the other one. Exactly. The colors are really cute. Definitely very appropriate for fall. I love it. This is actually like, giving me such good memories. Polly Pocket when I was a kid. But when I was a kid, I loved Polly Pocket so much. And I remember like it was really hard to find. And I went to Toys R Us with my mom and there was like a woman that was like looking, I think she was also looking for the Polly Pocket and we found that there was like one Polly Pocket left. My mom was like, run! And like I had to run down the aisle like a little fat kid, grab the Polly Pocket so the other lady wouldn't grab it. I felt so proud. And that's like my memory of Polly Pocket. So this brings me back. Brings me back to like me and my mom just being horrible people and just making sure that we get it and nobody else does. You do that whenever you go and you go together. Yeah, that's where I love my mom. <laughs> <laughs> and she also sent me this maple glazed little makeup revolution donut, which I've heard really good things about the donuts. And I always wanted to try and I never had a chance to. So I'm very thankful for this. I want to touch the top of it because it's so squishy. It's like that eyeball highlighter that I was just playing with. Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is actually really pretty for the fall. That's really nice. Yes. You know, fall colors. It's like cute. I love it. I love anything that like is squishy and I can eat. And looks like a donut. And looks like a donut. looks like a donut. I thought this said, but fist me time. <laughs> and I was like, biscuit! Biscuit! You want me to fist you? She gave me this cool, colorful, colorful palette. Cool, colorful, colorful, colorful. Color. Say that five times, but. <laughs> So you got me some palettes, a brow palette, interesting, from Makeup Revolution, as well as some Velvet Matte's Pigment Palette. Really cute, very pretty neutral colors, which is really funny because I got rid of a lot of my neutral palettes and now I'm fucking craving them like a fucking lunatic, so that makes me incredibly happy. And oh, I got something from Cargo. Hi. Thank you. Oh, this is nice, cool tone palette. I've never had anything from Cargo before. It actually kind of reminds me a little bit of Lorac, especially with the pan sizes. I'm very, very curious to play around with it. Ooh, and you get brush too. Oh, bitch. I'm gonna fuck this up. And yeah, that was it. Thank you so much, Biscuit. I love your fucking face. And if I ever come to North Carolina, I'm gonna stay in your house. Again, thank you all so much for sending all this really cool shit to my P.O. box. I truly love and appreciate you all. You have no idea. Like, you guys treat me so fucking well. Like, I am not worthy. With that said, I wanna remind you guys again that I did close down my P.O. box, so please don't send anything until I get a new P.O. box. Please do not feel obligated to send me anything. If you want to send me something, my P.O. box will be listed in the future. And of course, 
when I do open up my P.O. box, I will do my best to actually have monthly mail time vlogs because, you know, it kind of sucks. Like, I feel bad. You know how it goes with moving and all kinds of shit. But now that we're settled for the most part, we can resume as normal. Again, thank you so much for everything. I truly appreciate it. And, uh... With that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Discord. On Thursdays, we have a podcast called The Miserable Three. And sometimes I'm on my husband's Twitch channel where I just yell about bullshit on the internet. All the stuff that is on my face, along with my merch, will be listed down in the description box below. And I'll see you, little pumpkins, later. Bye.